Welcome back to the News at 10. Now, we're getting more reactions following the sack of the former chairman of the Pensions Reform Board, Abdul Rashid Mena. Nigeria's main opposition party, the People's Democratic Party, has described his sack as a classic case of, quote, honor among thieves, end of quote. In a statement by its National Publicity Secretary, Mr. Dayo Adeyeye, the opposition party condemned the infamous reinstatement of Mr. Mena in the Federal Civil Service. The PDP insists that the ruling All Progressives Congress cannot absolve itself from the controversy created by the return and promotion of the civil servant who is under investigation for alleged diversion of billions of naira in pension funds. Let's take a look at some sports now. Here's Barong Tony Aranta. Thank you, Joma, and welcome to Sports News. Portugal's Cristiano Ronaldo has won the best FIFA Men's Player of the Year award for a second consecutive time. Ronaldo edged out Argentina's Lionel Messi and Brazil's Neymar at the award ceremony that took place this evening in London. Ronaldo helped Real Madrid to a second consecutive Champions League title and finished as the tournament's top scorer with 12 goals earlier this year. And the winner is... Cristiano Ronaldo. Thank you. Thank you a lot, the guys who are voting on me, to give a mention to mention Leo and Neymar to be here. Real Madrid supporters, my teammates, my coach, my president, they'll support all the year, so I have to say thank you to them. And we are in England for the first time, and, uh, and I win the executive awards. So I'm really glad. This is a, a great moment for me. FIFA give opportunity to the, to the fans. I know I have fans all over the world. So thank you a lot for the support. Meanwhile, Real Madrid boss Zinedine Zidane has been named the men's coach of the year at the best FIFA football awards. Zidane beat out Chelsea manager Antonio Conte and Juventus Massimiliano Allegri to claim the prize for the first time, having been the runner-up in 2016. The Frenchman led Madrid to a second consecutive Champions League title in 2016-17 and also claimed the Spanish La Liga, the club's first since 2011-12. From a player to a coach. Well, that's it on Sports News for tonight. I'm Barong Tony Aranta. Any job of you back with a wrap. Thanks a lot, Barong. The international community is keen that the upcoming presidential rerun in Kenya goes peacefully without any hitches or violence. Observers from 18 European countries, the European Union and the United States, today issued a joint statement calling on leaders to talk to each other and pursue any protests peacefully. Speaking on their behalf, the U.S. ambassador to Kenya called on politicians from all sides to respect the country's constitution, warning them that the current situation was dangerous and should stop. Now, Catalonian leaders have promised the Spanish government's decision to impose direct rule will not be an easy thing as they will not be following orders from the Spanish government. They've accused the central government of acting against the will of Catalans. The region's parliament is scheduled to meet on Thursday to decide how to respond to Pre Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy's announced plans to sack the Catalan government and curtail some of the powers of its parliament. The Catalan government has refused to halt an independence drive following an outlawed referendum held earlier this month. 
On Saturday, Mr. Rahoy said he was triggering Article 155 of the Constitution, which allows for direct rule to be imposed in any crisis on any of the country's autonomous regions. And a pair of Palestinian conjoined twins will die if they do not leave Gaza to get proper medical attention. Doctors at the Shifa Hospital say they do not have the facilities to handle the girl's complicated condition. They're joined at the abdomen and lower body. They have shared one leg but separate heart and lungs. Dr. Abu Hamda said while the condition of one of the twins was okay, her sibling was suffering and required ventilation. And the main news again. The president today wielded the big stick by ordering the immediate sack of the former chairman of the Pension Reforms Board, Abdul Rashid Mena, from the civil service. President Mohammed Buhari also called for the investigation into Mena's recall, the report of which has been submitted to the chief of staff. Also today, 17 governors of the southwestern states met today in Lagos and agreed on devolution of powers as well as Nigeria's indivisibility. And Western diplomats today warned of growing insecurity in Kenya ahead of controversial presidential election rerun. And that's the news at 10 tonight. Thanks so much for staying with us. I'm Ijoma Kunyato. Do have a good night.